Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about that activity filter. So what is the activity filter? How we can use the activity filter? And then what is the use case of the activity filter? So if you see that this is my incident table and in this incident table, I you can see that uh, these have a field called work notes and then when I click that, uh, it switched to the customer uh, visibility comment or customer comments. So this is just, um, but uh, you know, that toggle option is available. And apart from that, the right side, we have a post button and whatever things I am going to push that high or something like that, this message is showing in this bottom. So in that activities, and it's showing that activities counts like two or uh, three, whatever time I am going to update that, every time the count will be increased and will be show that. So today we'll basically uh, talk about that, how these features can be, uh, uh, can be available in our custom uh, table. So uh, let's say that this is my table called u underscore test. And in this table, I want to add these features that uh, it should come up with that, uh, you know, uh, these activities. And then whatever value I am changing, let's say that uh, testing uh, to the, this one, um, from testing to testing one these also should be available how I, I i can do that okay so all these steps will discuss that so very first thing is that what we have to do we have to right click and then uh, configure and then form layout under this form layout so if we want to uh, you can see that we have a field called activities uh, we can add that activity filter but if you want to create or if you want to do any kind of commencing stuff we can do that for that let's say that i'll create one field called manager approval and then this time I'm going to select the type. I'll select the journal input. So um, in our last video, we talked about the, what is journal, what is the journal input and what is the journal list. So journal, I'm not going to see, uh, select the journal because journal will get the value and it will be show the value. So I, I just need to be take the input from the user. So I'll select that input equal to journal input. And then I'll add that. So now let's save that. So what will be happen once we create the journal input, that whatever value will select that will be um, will be uh, cleaned up after some time. So let's say that I'm putting that um, message call turned an input call high. So after save that, you can see that message is going disappeared and there is no post button available into this right side. In this incident, we have a button called post, you can see, but here we don't have any kind of such kind of thing called post. For that, what we have to do, we have to simply right click, configure from layout, and then we need to add one uh, uh, a thing called activity filter. These things I need to be add and then save that. So I'll just add that and then save that. Once we add that, you can see um, all these message so far we have put um, is showing right now. So let's say that I'll say that hello and um, save that. So whatever message I'm putting here, you can see this message is not printing here in this activities. Very first thing is that manager approval, this message is not showing in this bottom um, call hello or whatever. Why? Because you can see this, there is a configure button and under this configuration, you can see this configure available. Once you click that, you need to bring that whatever fields you want to show into the activity. So I'll select the manager approvals and then save that. Once we save that, all these manager approval related uh, changes will be displayed there. So let's see that. So you can see whatever message I am posting that hello, hi, everything is showing that. Now, if we change that description to um, description two to description uh, like just like that and save that. Once we do that, you can see that the description it is showing that previous value. Uh, I mean, uh, new value is the new description and was new description two. So we. Basically, it was showing that all the previous value and the new value. Now, in case you don't need to show any fields or any uh, value that um, you, uh, I mean, let's say that name changes from uh, new case to new case one. I don't want to show into that, um, you know, activity. I can simply remove that from here. So just go back there and then configure. And then I just need to be remove that name field from here and then all the changes of the name field will not be displayed anymore here so let's save that so once we save that these all these uh, name changes are not i mean no more available apart from that you remember that once we added that field i mean that field um, that we have created in this configure 
So this post button was available after that. So if you don't add this manager approval fields or this general input field that into your activity, this post button will not be available. Once you add this general input field, this post button will be available. This post button will be available. So if I simply remove that uh, from this configured available and if I remove that manager approval field from here, all this manager approval fields related activity will not be available to this um, in my activity filter you can see this is not even nothing related to this manager approval comments are not showing here apart from that the post button is not available so if you think that the post button is not available in case then make sure that the journal input type of field is added to your here from available to the selected so that's the one thing second thing is that um, you can see that in this case we have a one checkbox called additional comments and if you check that the fields getting switched right so how how and then if there is a one um, button if you click that the, both the fields are visible how how we can do that so for that what we have to do so basically we have two journal input field here uh, right now we have only one journal input field so we need to create one more journal input field uh, to see this toggle or checkbox option so let's create that manager approval um, something like some any journal input field and see that now under this form layout, I'm going to create one more field called um, user manager approval, something like that. Um, here you can create any any kind of field based on that your uh, um, your use case. So I'll, I'm going to create one more field and then this time the input will be that um, the field will type will be journal input. So don't create the journal to sh if you want to show into the activity because journal field will show that activity itself. So it will be repeated. So Two fields we created one is the manager approval after that we have a user manager approvals and then once we save that and close that you can see still we are not able to see this checkbox right so we can see both the fields but still we are not able to see this uh, checkbox for that we have to go again here whenever the new fields will be created you need to add into this um, you know activity and save that once you save that, you can see this manager approval is showing here and there is a one, uh, this button is available and this checkbox is available. So if you check that, this is switching that manager approval, user approval, and then you can check that it will show both the fields. And then here from here, you can directly uh, put this, any of this um, message and click the post. That post will be available here. So that's it for all about today activity filter. If you have any question, let me know in my comment sections. Thank you very much. Have a great day.